Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This is an end of day report for trading on April the 28th, Thursday, 2016. One thing of note is the question that I have is this. Is a flash crash in the currency markets underway? The reason we want to ask that is because we know that Japan has been having some issues. The Bank of Japan, the BOJ, decided to follow suit along with the uh, USA and not do anything with the interest rates. However, the ripple effects of what's going on there was felt today throughout their stock markets being down heavily and also some uh, action in the yen. The thing of note, though, that I wanted to uh, point out mo mostly is what's happening in the gold and the silver markets. Now these markets are moving up. Okay, I like to think of gold and silver uh, as as currencies and not commodities. Even though technically they're considered commodities, but really I see them as currencies. Okay, that that's what they mo mostly are. And as you can see here, gold has been powering up. Just like we've been saying all along, back when we were below the Kumo cloud, we told you where we were going, we told you what we were looking at, and the market has been powering up ever since, and it's looking very, very bullish here. Um, we are still in the consolidation uh, pattern. We haven't broke out yet, but today did mark uh, a higher close. All right, so if you go back here from the beginning of this uh this channel, the sideways channel, you see this is the highest close we've had. We still need a, a, a close above that 1280 mark to really um, bring in uh, the machines, to get those machines turned on, all those robots out there to start bidding the market more. Because then they'll, they'll see that the bull market is real. These two trend lines will be out of the Kumo cloud and pointing upwards. And then we'll be off to the races, marching to, to uh, 1300, 1350, and so on. So you definitely want to keep your eyes open to what's going on in these metals markets. Uh, taking a look, uh, that was the gold chart. Let's take a look at silver now. Uh, silver is really performing well as it's powered up now. Has nothing to go back to. Look at this. This is great. This is a conti strong continuation pattern, causing this this trend line now to cross above the the, uh, the long term, pushing it up, turning it up here, uh, building a nice strong support at that sixteen dollar level, and then the next support level is going to be here at seventeen dollars. All right, just let you know that seventeen dollars is going to be a nice strong support. You may even get an air pocket up to from 17 up to about $18 a, a dollar pocket I'm seeing a pocket of 17 to 18 being a long-term strong support once um, once we finish building uh, off this momentum here and as you can see we go back here the market is, is, is looking looking pretty powerful right now so we'll see if this this can continue or is the Fed gonna come in and start trading again. Will Wonder Woman Janet Yellen, or we can call her ja Janet Yellen, the Joan of Arc of Wall Street, is she going to come in and save the day and save the dollar? What is she going to sacrifice to save the dollar and to save the bond market? She's not going to throw herself into the fire. So, what will be the casualty? Will she be able to come in and successfully beat down these metals or no? Are they losing their grip on the manipulation side of the metals market? So ever since China has opened up their exchange, I think that is causing the Fed to not be as effective anymore. I think the Shanghai markets and what's happening over there in China with their new exchange is going to be the one that sets the price and not the U.S. So we won't have a choice but to melt up. All right, I think that is what's going to happen here. So now let's look at that U.S. dollar index. So you can see clearly what's happening. The Fed is trying its best to hold on. 
It's doing its best, but we're coming off. Momentum's pointing down. All right. If it, if the Fed was not in this market, we'd be already into the nine, well into the uh, ninety handle by now. But the Fed has the brakes on. It's trying its best to get in here and keep this market bid so that it won't fall through the floor. But as it is right now, we're in emergency mode. 93.84 and a half is the emergency support, which was violated. Okay, we hit 93.66 half. Currently 93.72 half. This market is signaling that we could be seeing a major currency collapse here if they lose control of this tug of war. If the Fed can't do it, then the dollar has no choice but to fall apart and commodities will be to the moon speaking of which what did I tell you I told you that you gotta keep an eye out for what's happening in the markets right now crude oil totally broke out above the uh, trend line resistance now we're in the air pocket between the trend line resistance and the bottom of the Kumo cloud that is a strong resistance point but if we can push through it here and push up through fifty dollars it's on its way to sixty and a lot of people were calling for sixty dollar oil by the end of the year but what they forgot to mention is that this market is under operation as well it's not being manipulated the same way that the uh, dollar and the bonds are it's being manipulated different it's we've been the Fed's been coming in here trying to suppress it to punish Saudi Arabia but you can only do that for so long because this is a humongous market and it's the most gangster market on the planet those who've been following me uh, for some time you know that I told you that all right the energy complex here on the, on the commodity side of things is the most gangster uh, pits in in the world and especially in New York all right NYMEX uh, trading is off the is off the chain uh, if you go back and look at some of my earlier listen to my earlier bids you'll find uh, videos you'll see what I was talking about but anyway this is this is one to watch here definitely one to watch strong support down at the $31 handle and we still have a ways to go yet but this is powerful this is strong overbought now but it's trying to lock in it wants to lock in and if this thing locks in look out because all can go to shoot the 70 overnight on you alright so keep your your eyes and ears open and like I said are we about to witness a f major flash crash in the currency markets petrodollar versus the world stay tuned